today we are um, just following up on magnesium sulfate um, uh, dilutions because um, we know that as we discussed before uh, the way we give the loading dose of magnesium sulfate. So the way we give the loading dose of magnesium sulfate for a severe preeclampsia and eclampsia is really the same. So we give um, 14 grams, uh, like we said. We give 14 grams of magnesium sulfate. The way we give this 14 grams, we give 4 grams is given IV. And this IV one is 20%. It's given over 5 to 20 minutes. Then we have the 10 grams. The 10 grams is given, uh, this is the loading dose we are talking about, is given 5 grams on one buttock, that's on the left buttock, and 5 grams on the right buttock. In these 5 grams, you've added um, um, like one meal of 2% lignocaine. You've added one meal of 2% lignocaine in this five grams, and it's a deep IM injection, and this is 50%. Uh, it's undiluted. So the difference between the IV um, uh, dose and the IM one is that the IV one is 20%, the IM1 is 50%. So if you look at our um, the magnesium sulfate that we have on labor ward, this one is from our labor ward. Um, I don't know if people can see that. Yeah, so the one that we have on labor ward is this one. This is from our labor ward. It's, um, it's a 50% solution, you can see. So when you're giving the IM version, you don't have to dilute this. You just have to get... Um, five grams from, from here. That's all you have to do and give it. And this whole vial here is 10 mils and it's 50%. So that means this is five grams in total. Yeah, so that's what we have. So we need to know that when we say a solution is 50%, what we mean is that there's 500 milligrams of magnesium sulfate per meal, meaning that if you take 10 meals from, from the vow that I told you, then it means you've taken um, 5 grams of magnesium sulfate. So this is the one you add uh, 1 meal of 2% and give it um, one vow you give on one buttock, the other vow you put on the other, um, the other buttock. The problem is with the, with the IV dose when you are giving that uh, loading dose. So you realize that what we have on labor ward is 50%. So we need to dilute this to 20%. So your first task is to get um, 4 grams. You need to get 4 grams uh, from this from this vow that's your first task because this vow as we have already discussed has five grams so you need to get four grams uh, from this vow how do you get four grams from this vow so the way you do that is that you know that 10 mils which is what we have in that vow has five grams So you want four grams. So how do you get four grams? So you multiply 10 by four and you divide that by five. Then that will be your X. So 10 by four is 40, 40 divided by five is eight. So you need to get eight meals Get eight meals from the vow, then you have your four grams. Then you've solved your first uh, problem. So that vow has five grams, so we found a way to get four grams. Because for the IV um, dose, you only need four grams. You don't need the whole five grams. So 
this is the way to get how to calculate to get your four grams now the second part is that this four grams is 50 percent you don't want to give someone 50 percent magnesium sulfate iv you might cause uh, problems you want you don't want to kill a patient so you want to dilute this uh, before you give it uh, before you give it um, in the vein of the patient so how do you dilute so there's a simple formula that is normally used so you say available concentration divided by required concentration minus one so we know the available concentration we have on our labor word is 50 percent for giving the four grams iv what we need is 20 percent then we subtract one so this takes us to 20 in 250 is 2.5 2.5 take away 1 is 1.5. So what this means is that for every meal of magnesium sulfate 50% that you withdraw, you need to add 1.5 meals for you to change that meal to a 20%. Now in this case, we are withdrawing um, 8 meals. If you remember, we are withdrawing eight meals to get our four grams. So we have eight meals. So for each meal, we need to add 1.5 to get to, uh, to change this concentration from 50% to 20%. So the way to do that is eight meals, you multiply by 1.5 because this is the number of meals you need to dilute each meal of magnesium sulfate to change it to to 20 percent so if you multiply this this will give you 12 so this answer we found here is means that we need to get 12 meals of water for injection and add it to eight meals of the 50 percent magnesium sulfate which is four grams and this will make this 50% get diluted to, uh, to 20%. I think that you can also add, uh, if you don't have water for injection, you can add dextrose 5% to this 8 mils. But just add the same 12 mils of dextrose 5% to 8 mils of 50%. Um, and this will become 20% magnesium sulfate. Uh, which is four grams in this case. Yeah, you remember in when we are administering magnesium sulfate, you need to do the same uh, when you when a patient fits. When a patient fits, and they are already on magnesium sulfate, you need to give two grams. So the calculation is exactly the same. So we can say what we want now is two grams. So we know that five grams, we know that five grams is in 10 mils. So we are just doing exactly the same thing. Five grams is in 10 mils. So now this patient has fitted. They're already on magnesium sulfate. So you just want to give, as you remember in the protocol, that you need to give two grams now. So how many mils do you need to withdraw from that 10 mils? To get your your two grams so it's easy so this is two times which is 20 20 divided by 5 is 4 so just withdraw four meals so when you draw four meals then you know you have your two grams now this two grams is it's 50 percent so you want to to change it to 20 percent so the calculation is the same. We've already calculated. For you to change this 50% from, from the 50% to the 20%, you need to add 1.5 mils 
for every meal. So in this case, we have four meals. So 1.5 times four meals. This is um, like four times 15. This is like six, six meals. So in conclusion, it means that you need to add six meals of water for injection or 5% uh, dextrose to four meals of magnesium sulfate, 50% for you to change this to 20% magnesium sulfate to 2 grams. So this is a brief video on the mathematics associated with magnesium sulfate because we all need to know the nurses need to know so that they hope the doctors who don't know and the doctors need to know so that they hope the nurses uh, who don't know so that's about magnesium sulfate dilutions